I'm Fran Bagnell. I'm at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Back in, oh, about late 1989 or so, there was a bunch of us who were really keen to go to Pluto. We wanted to have a mission that would get out there and make observations of this object right on the edge of the solar system. So we realized to make this happen, we had to get together and campaign hard to make the case to go there and explore. So it was a bit of an opportunity for young people to come in and say, hey, where are we going to go next? What's the next great frontier that we should go explore? And it was clear, out to the Kuiper Belt. Pluto is a very exciting place. It's right at the edge of the solar system. We've got a bunch of junk out there and we don't know why it is there. And uh, current ideas are that it got there through the formation of the solar system. And there's Pluto out there representing that junk, remnants of the formation of the solar system. When I started as a professional scientist, planetary scientist, there was Pluto and it had this big exciting moon called Charon. And then we found another one and another one. We keep finding these moons, uh, totally unexpected and uh, a great surprise. So it'll be very interesting to see what we find when we get there. How many more are there? I actually think we have no idea what we're going to find. It could be completely different. You see these fabulous paintings that people have drawn of icy surfaces and clouds and mist and rocks and mountains. Ha! Huh. could be completely different. Oh, the satisfaction of the whole mission can come when we see those first pictures and we actually get a glimpse of what that icy surface looks like. It really tells us about how our world, our solar system formed and how it got to be the way it is. So it's cool. Let's go there. Let's go explore it. I'm really hoping that we can conserve enough fuel on the New Horizons spacecraft that we can then use a little bit of extra power to change the spacecraft, deflect it a little bit and send it off to another object. Because I'm pretty sure that Pluto is one of a whole family of very different types of objects. Different colors, different ices, different histories, different gases. And it would be fun to go and see two, not just one. I'm Fran Bagnell and I'm a Plutophile. And the reason is because Pluto is cool.